But looks like we're going to get a little bit of a Dungeness crab, finally. Yes, finally. Looking and forward to that. <laughs> you, me, and a lot of folks at no home. No doubt as well. about it. And not only are we looking forward to that, but also looking forward to some drier conditions here in the next week or so. And that's going to come after another burst of wet weather later tonight. But a dry view out at Seaside right now. And you'll also notice we're well into the five o'clock hour and a little bit of light still hanging on to the horizon there as those sunsets gradually get just a little bit later. But we're seeing a massive amount of water push its way into the western half of the country. And this is all fantastic news because this has not necessarily been the case as of late where our drought situation has still remained in a dire area specifically for northern sections of California, even just to the east of the Cascades where the exceptional drought still resides just to the north and east of Deschutes County. That's been something we've seen prolonged not only last fire season, but all the way back to 2019 2020 as the Portland metro area has now been cleared of any drought situation. So some good news to report there, and we would like to see that trend continuing as the wet weather continues to push its way into western Oregon and Washington. And that's exactly what we're seeing this evening as our skies are slightly starting to dry out for the metro area along with the north coastline of Oregon. And as far as the metro area goes, you saw just a few of those light rain showers making their way through the eastern half of the area, and that is going going to become a little bit more widespread here, at least in the next 12 to 24 hours. But our friends down towards the south parts of Douglas County, even into the Medford area, seen wind advisories where we could see sustained winds at about 45 to 55 miles per hour. That's going to last all the way through early tomorrow morning. But at least for the metro area, we're not expecting to see any of those strong winds that we have been dealing with over the past week or so. They will be out of the east, so you know what that means. It comes down out of the gorge. It will likely feel cooler along the immediate gorge locations, but at least for the metro area, our temperatures are still going to ride out as we'll see sustained winds at about 25 miles per hour, and that's going to last into the evening hours tomorrow, but then slowly start to taper back. Of course, all of this comes with the chance of some wet weather as we've got multiple systems hanging out over the Pacific Ocean, and this has kind of been the trend over the past several weeks or so, again, helping to improve that drought situation. So although it may be less than ideal for your mood with those gray skies, at least we are expected to see some impacts as far as the drought goes, and that's going to, of course, linger into the fire season that is so, so quickly approaching. As the wet weather continues with our next low pressure system, not only one, but expecting two to swing their way through the next 24 to 48 hours. And here you go, hour by hour with our future cast. This is about midnight tonight, so if you're heading out and about tonight, you might want to keep that rain jacket close at hand. Then we dry things out for the start of the day on Sunday, with the exception of the central coast of Oregon, expecting to see that wet weather continue as it continues to track its way to the north and east. You also notice with those blues and the pinks, that's the snowfall over the Cascades. It's not necessarily going to be impacting any of your travel plans if you are planning on heading out to do some skiing tomorrow, but that might change as we move into Monday with a little bit more widespread snowfall up towards the high terrain. Just rainfall though for the I-5 corridor and the coast, expecting about a half inch or so as the snow continues to pile up over Mount Hood Meadows at nearly seven to eight inches is possible with a beautiful look out there with 31 degrees our current temperature. But as far as our seven day forecast goes, if you're trying to find a dry spot, that's going to be on Tuesday with comfortable conditions and we will see that last at least until Wednesday morning before the winds start to kick up once again. The wet weather lasts through Friday and another soggy Saturday on the docket, but at least temperatures sitting close to normal, if not slightly above. We can't complain when we're talking about upper 40s and low 50s. Wayne. Yeah, that's uh, totally normal for this time of year. All right, and we appreciate that one break day in the middle of the week. Thank you, Josh. Coming.